I also like got greedy with the last mulligan in round one. If we didn't get greedy with the last mulligan in round one, we could have pushed a little oh, bit further. Goody. I was getting Always just take a no-brick hand. I think you still have to... In, like, in general, I think that's a pretty good idea. Um, you just kind of... You do have to evaluate from the situation. Nice. Okay, this is a no-brick hand. Luckily, we had the extra mulligan. Imperial formation. Should I just go Wild Hunt Rider? This, 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 then this. I think it's safer to just go Wild Hunt Rider. Oh no, man. I have the TA again, but it's just like, if he starts playing Imperial Marines, I need to take a Rider, right? Imperial Marine can get to 5 power right away. He also has this Imperial Formation that he could start buffing things. Yes, I have TA, but I don't want to TA a Larva. I could TA a Vanguard. We could go... Like, I want to... Well, see... If we want to max everything, we want to play a second Indriga Larva, then we want to play Vanguard. It's safer, but Greedy is also fun. Yes, exactly. There's an argument to playing this range row. Oh, printing pad, okay. We're going to do this to thrive these, to stay on thrive curve. Now you TA the locked one, easy. <laughs> yeah. Oh, he's also a Renfree deck. He's a Renfree deck, I think. Um, so this is the first time he can pass. So we should... We should, um, we should prioritize this, right? We are what do we, uh, we have to take the, the Iris of Ronerberg? Because we don't have it in hand yet. We don't have her in hand yet. I'm going to hold this still, this TA. So if it's a Renfrey deck, they might play like Triss Meteor Shower. He's row stacking. He passes. Okay. Boy comes out. That's fine. We just we don't like having bricks in the deck, so I think it's fine. <laughs> now we need to draw Karenthir. We need to draw Karenthir, we need to draw Renfri. Yeah, we're gonna push, but I need to draw the Karenthir in order to push, though. So. We didn't get it. So we can push a little bit, but we can't push with Kashe. Now do we prioritize the Rider? Because he can play Sergeants. And once he plays a 10, point, 10 power Sergeant, we're not getting the Dominance ever again. It thins to zero. No good wine will what come thins to zero? Ardak? Even Ardak can thin to zero depending on what we... It thins to from zero to two depending on what we get from the Renfrey. How am I going to push here though? Do I just want to go long round three? I guess I need to thin this. I need to thin this to guarantee that I get the Kashe. Or, sorry, not the Kashe, but the Karenthir. I need to guarantee that I get the Karenthir. A pleasure to bleed. Hmm. And then... I don't really want to go to the long round three, 
I want to like play cards like Cursed Damsel and Vanguard and get rid of these and put these in the graveyard for the Mournheart. But I also don't want to lose my last say. If I lose my last say, the Mournheart's going to get tall punished. Is it dangerous to do 10 card round 3 because of row clogging? I don't really think so. I think he's going to lock our Koshes. I think he's going to lock our Koshes or kill them. And if he doesn't, we can consider putting the two Koshes in the same row. I think I'm going to pass, though. I don't want to give up last save. I don't want to risk giving up last save. Our, our tempo is too slow here. I would play a 4 or a 7. They're both too slow. Damsel plus leader? Why would we leader here? We want to save the leader to combo with Kashi. Reality is that which, though you believe it no more, does not go away. There was also like he could have tempoed pretty hard. He could have tempoed like um Ramon into Sergeant, which would have been 14 plus double thrive. I'm gonna draw those two. And I don't want I think I don't want this card. I can play it late if we get the thing from if we get the thinning card from the thinning options from the Renfrey, we can play it late. And it'll still thrive a seven. Okay. You're about Troidam Ultimatum. Can he kill the Sir Scratch a lot on an empty board? If he goes like full leader and then Ren free and then finds the thing, he can. Any other ways? Hmm. I'm gonna play this first, I think. Scarlet Scarlet I can play this. One, two, three, four. Oh yeah, he could he could like he could friend dive it. So in this situation, from what you've guys seen, like other stream <gasps> We follow Letho's lead. Oh my God. Alright, this guy's got another Vilgaforts, right? He's got a Vilgaforts that's gonna mill us, or a Traherne that's gonna mill us. So we probably shouldn't take mill- Oh, we probably shouldn't take Sloth on this. Okay, so what I was gonna ask is like, when do you play the Force of Nature and Renfri when you've got both Kashe and Karenthir in the same round? Because we normally want to play Karenthir on the fifth to last card, right? But if we if we are waiting to play the Renfri after the Karenthir so that we can play Force of Nature with the Karenthir, then we have to play this on third to last card instead of fourth to last card. It's a pretty late second Kashi. But I guess that's okay, because we're expecting the Kashi's to get answered, so I guess we still do that. We want to have the double... Can we even take Sloth, though? We might, not be, we might not even be able to take Sloth, because he'll just, like, mill us if we take Sloth. We can't take Sloth and play Sloth on the same turn if we want to combo with the Kashi. Ah! It's tough. Damn it. I can't bounce this yet. Mankind is a virus, a plague. I think we just have to lock it. I don't think our Riptide's gonna be able to hit this. Because he'll probably play like a regular sergeant from hand and then boost it to ten. And then this won't hit this. 
Oh, nice. Late Iris Companions. So very weak Iris Companions. Wait. Did he play? Oh, he played the Iris already. In round one. Oops. Okay. What now? So now it's like Cyclops. Now it's like Cyclops or Riptide. I guess we Riptide instead. Because I don't have anything to Cyclops. I don't want to Cyclops the door, Gary. I would lose a point here. We play front row Cyclops? Not actually sure. The, no, sorry, not Cyclops. Front row Riptide. Then, then Cyclops next turn. Cyclops next turn. Probably want to get rid of the Riptide so that he doesn't take Lust as an option. He's going to Renfrey now. He's playing hard into Igni. So hard. He's going to Renfrey and take yeah, like a uh, Blessing of dead. Even Odd and then get a 7 on this Renfrey as well. Sloth. So he can now have like two answers in one turn with like Lock and then Slave Driver. Hmm. There's still Triss Meteor Shower. Yeah, no respect to Igni. Triss Meteor Shower, Vilgaforts. What else are we expecting? Sergeant? Slave Driver? Ramon? These sort of cards? Five cards? Sloth and set to ten. Okay. This is a run free deck, they can't play Yenbo. Should we bounce this now? I think so. I think we're supposed to bounce this now. No? Maybe I should have played this front. Why don't you want to bounce this now? Because this way we'll get more larvas. Like, he's going to answer this, right? Or maybe he's going maybe he's going to answer both of them. But like this way we get an extra larva. Hmm. An interesting choice. Damn it. I also went back row. I should have gone front. So now do we even need to play the Renfrey before the second Kashe? I don't think so. We don't even need to play the Renfrey before the second Kashe because I no longer have something that can combo with this Kashe. I have to take like Maybe Envy? Right? We'll just do this now. We can't take Curse of Sloth. We can't take Blessing of Charity. We have to take, like, Envy. Envy is good. Back in line. Um... Envy is good. What else? Greed? Greed is maybe okay. Like 10 points. Uh, maybe Gluttony on Woodland Spirit. Because if he had another Tall Punish, he probably would have put... He probably would... Hmm. Well, actually, there might be like a Leo or a Geralt or something.
there four? There's no four? There's no four. They used to call me shrine. Wrath, lust, gluttony. Why? Lust gets me a six? Okay, we go gluttony. Set to ten, deal six. Set to ten, right? But we wait on this. We wait on this, we don't do it right away. And this doesn't take any space on our board, which is nice. this to go to nine? We want this to go to nine. So that it drives this twice. Oh. Oh. Okay. Don't know if he's gonna have another illusionist. Triss last card, yeah, Triss last card. Um I think we beat Triss. I don't know. It's... Yeah, I think we beat Triss. We still have leader, too. Easy. We didn't even need leader. Oh my god. Told you guys, this was this is a favored matchup for us. But, I mean... I think the imprisonment... Wait, no, he wasn't imprisonment. He was in pure formation. Imprisonment was the last guy with the Maddox. If he had imprisonment, this maybe is not favored because he just double locks Arkashes, right? 